Okay, so how do you open up the case? So this is um, relatively simple, but you do have to be careful. So as you're looking at the iPod, where the switch is here, you'll see that there's between the white plastic and the metal case, you need to get something in between on that corner there to try and jimmy it open. So I use the guitar pick. Um, need to be fairly careful because what you'll find is in this top left corner here inside there's a little cable that connects where the headphone jack is to where the circuit board is on this side so you need to be careful you don't just pull it open and then rip it away um, relatively simple you have to start on this top point here and what I'll do is I'll come back and show you what it looks like so here we go so as you can see I've started to get hold on there you go. So I've started to get the screwdriver underneath there, and what you want to do is try and work it all the way around. You Let me show you the next step. So there you go. I've got it open in the top right corner there, and then you want to be very careful and then just open it by your fingers with your books. And what you'll find is these little clips you can see on the inside here. They'll just slowly prise away. So uh, let me see if I can do that. So here we go. So open it up like that. Oh, you can already see that the battery is starting to come away. So this is the bit I was talking about here. This is the headphone cable, so you need to be careful. And what you've got here, this is the back with all the, the headphone and the switch up here. And then down here at the bottom right, you've got the connecting cable for the circuit board. Um, and two simple things. So you first of all pull this little connector out here, like so. There you go. And what you'll find is you need to put your, don't pull it by the cable. Get your fingers underneath that little ridge. So then, yeah, to disconnect the hard drive, so you just pull that away from the connector. It can only go one way because of the way that you've got a circle at one end and kind of like an oval at the other. So this, you pull the hard drive away, and then you've exposed yourself. So uh, exposed yourself. Then you've exposed it. So you've got the battery there, connection there. That's the connection cable that goes across to your headphones and switch, and then this is the circuit board and the screen behind it. So this is your, your hard drive. So now that you've taken the hard drive out, so you've pulled the blue hard drive out of this uh, piece here, this connection piece here, let me just zoom into that. So now what you've got to do is find yourself the right connection for um, plugging into this bit here. Now, as you'll see, I've gone through several iterations I've got one here which was a male to male. Uh, I had one here which was a, a female to male. But the one that you want is this one that looks like this. So it's got a thin top on it. Now, unfortunately, you can only really get these on eBay and that's where it becomes quite difficult because you'll be sending off to somewhere like Hong Kong. There is a link in the video, um, but if you look at the images that they provide, you want something which has got the small connectors at the top like that, and it's got the so it's got female to male connectors. And what you do then is when you want to connect it, you'll see that on here you've got a little arrow that says pin one. Please note. So what happens is you've got to make sure that you slot this into here, and pin one is that top pin that goes in there. So let me do that. Connected there, okay? In which you've pushed that into up at the top. Then you want to get hold of your um, SD card converter. So what happens is the SD card goes in here. So let me just take that out, hold on. So the SD card goes in the side here. And these are readily available. These, these aren't too difficult to find. And again, links are at the bottom. So you put the SD card in there, and then what you do is you slide the SD card in, or the, the SD uh, converter into here. Okay, so what you need to do now is don't plug it into your computer, plug in the Apple uh, connection at the bottom here. And then what you'll likely have is the Apple logo. Sometimes it will flash around to say it doesn't, it's got like a folder symbol on it which it doesn't recognize this folder but really you want to plug this in to give the battery a full charge okay so there you go so just to summarize then you've taken out the hard drive which is there you've now replaced it with this um, connection kit with the SD um, converter SD card converter and you've put the SD card in here now connect back up the cable at the top here and now you're ready to plug it into the wall 
So now you plug the iPod into your computer and what it will say is restore iPod. It will say do not disconnect. So then on the computer click restore iPod. Say so you sure you want to do that. Yes you do. Obviously making sure the SD card was blank. And that's it. Also if you're having issues with the SD card do format it as a FAT32. Um, so that can sometimes cause you issues. But once it's restored which it will do in this case then it will say you can unplug your iPod and then plug it into the wall to give it its final charge and then it's ready to go hope this has helped um, links at the bottom for all the bits of kit and please like please